everybody and welcome back. I'm April May Walston and today I'm going to show you how I painted these two dogs. So stay tuned. So to start out with, I sketched out my design. I originally painted this on a piece of paper to kind of flush out the idea. And then I decided to transfer it to my rock. The I'm outlining the all the outlines in I think it's like a metallic green. This is just so I don't lose the lines. Um, normally when I paint these on a canvas, I leave the background white and I do all of the outlines in black. But since I like my rocks to be black, I just went ahead with a metallic green because I thought it would, if any of the lines did end up showing, it would match or it, it wouldn't clash anyway. So, and these are, I call these urban expression dogs. They're kind of, they're not abstract. They're more, it's like urban art. So, I paint people and I paint dogs. I'm working on painting cats. I haven't done them yet, but maybe in the future I'll figure out a design for them. So I'm going off what's in my painting, which you can see in the left-hand corner. And I'm, I'm going to stick to it relatively close, but not 100%. And I'm using Liqu Liquitex Basics for my paints. And first I'm just kind of blocking in color and putting on some kind of thin coats. And now I'm building up my layers. I'm going to continue adding until you can't see through the paint so much. And while I'm doing this, I'm also blending. And I'm using a Princeton Select blender brush, and this is a size 3. And I'm just building up my, my colors. And again, I'm just using thin layers and blending with my blender brush. Now he's, I guess he's checking to make sure he was dry. You definitely want to make sure your layers are dry uh, before you paint over them because you will lift your paint. As you can see, these are nowhere near being lifelike. <laughs> These are just a lot of fun for me to paint. And it's really all about the color. And I'm using blue to highlight the his black nose, which blue is a really good color for highlighting black as opposed to using a gray. Gray makes things look dull and old. Blue will make it look like it's shiny and and won't age your subject. I know I'm doing his nose, but if he had black fur, I would highlight the black fur in a blue. And now we're going to move on to her while he dries. And for her, I'm doing her differently. I'm blocking in 
the same color for most of the lighter areas first and now I'm going in with some red. Now I'm adding her lips which are going to be blue and then her body. Her body goes behind him so we needed to make sure that you could see her body on his left side a little bit. And you can see you go through some really ugly stages when you're painting in layers like I do. But in the end, I promise it'll look good. The thing with acrylics, so you can just keep adding layers upon layers upon layers until you get the desired look. Now I'm using kind of a light bluish green, kind of a, a light teal color to add his, what would be his low lights. Not the highlights, but the low lights. And we're just kind of working on her coloring. And she went through some pretty ugly stages there in the beginning. <laughs> But if this happens to you, don't get discouraged. It does work itself out in the end. You just keep adding layers. And you can see, like, as I move along, she's going to start to come along. And, and she's going to look cute in the end. Well, as cute as these dogs can look. They're, <laughs> they're not the, necessarily the cutest dogs, but... <laughs> That's not the way I draw them, but I, I adore them. I do these in people and in dogs, so maybe one day I'll do uh, some people, usually girls. I call them my girls. Um, I've never done guys, just like I've never done cats. I'm working on a design for the cats, but uh, I haven't found... come created one yet that I really, really like. But for these, it's really, like I said, it's all about really bright colors and a lot of shading, transition, and gradients between colors. Now I'm outlining him in black, cleaning up my lines. This is one of my favorite parts to do is the outline in the black. I just think it really makes it pop. And see she's now she makes more sense and she looks a lot better. And with the boys I always give them a mustache out of their whiskers. I don't do that for the girls, but the girls, they get eyelashes. And a little glossiness to her lips and the eye shine, of course. And an M for his name. He is Maximilius. Max for short, so it's Max and Rhonda is the girl dog. I've also added some low lights to her on her back and front. 
looks like. Oh, and along her nose, too, are some kind of low lights. And a little nose shine. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and share this with any of your friends you think would enjoy this video as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please share your smile with somebody and be kind to one another. I'll see you in the next video.